Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I will show you how to make an animation just like this one by making tracks in Blender. It's going to be fairly quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render for better shading, and then click S, then Set to scale the cube on the Z axis. Then click S, then Y to scale it on the Y axis, and then S, then X to scale the object on the X axis, and then on the Z axis again. And then we need to add a curve, so click Shift A and add a circle. Then click R, Y, the 90 to rotate the curve 90 degrees on the Y axis. Then go into edit mode, select the sides of the curve, and then click S, then Y to scale it on the Y axis. Then click Tab to go into object mode and select the mesh. Now we need to go into the modifiers, so add an array modifier, and change the X value to 0, and then set the Y value to 1.05. And if you want to make changes to the mesh, just click S, then X to scale it on the X axis, and S, then Y to scale it on the Y axis. Okay, so let's increase the count, and then add a new modifier, which is the curve modifier, and select the Bezier circle, and change it to minus Y. Now increase the count until the whole curve is filled, and then click S, then X if you want to scale it on the X axis to make it thinner. And now we need to change the Y value in the Array modifier to make sure that the uh, track fits the uh, curve perfectly. So now it fits, and now we can select the curve and click G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And as you can see, we have a uh, track animation. Now to give it the uh, kind of cartoonish track look, let's go into edit mode by clicking tab, go to face select, then select the top face, click E, left click S, then click E again and lock it on the set axis by clicking set after E. Then you want to go back to your object mode and hold in shift and select the curve. Then click shift D to duplicate and X to grab it on the X axis. Then hold in shift and select the other track and then click shift S and then cursor to selected. Then add an empty, so click shift A, go into empty and add a cube. Then select the first curve, then hold in shift and select the other curve and then the empty. Then click Ctrl P and set them parent to the cube. Then click G, then Y to grab the tracks on the Y axis. Now let's animate it. So uh, go to frame 30, click N, and then uh, click I to keyframe the location. Then move forward in time, then click G, then Y to grab the tracks on the Y axis. Then click I to keyframe the new location. And as you can see, we have the basic track animation. So let's add a plane, which will be the floor. Click G, then Set to grab it on the set axis, and then click S to scale it. And then left click to confirm the scale, and then click number 3, and then number 5, and make sure that the floor is right below the tracks. OK, and then select the lamp, and turn it into a sun, change the size to 1, and then click Use Nodes, and change the strength to about 7, to make it stronger. Click G to grab, and R to rotate the sun. Now let's add materials, so for the tracks we will use a glossy material and then we will set the roughness to uh, 0.2. Now when it comes to the color of the tracks, just add whatever color you want. I'm just going to leave them at a white color, so something like this. And then if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just use the CPU. And for the material of the floor, I'm going to give it a glossy material, set the color to a dark blackish uh, color and then the roughness to 0.3. Now, before we use the camera, let's just go into edit mode for the floor and add some walls. So hold in shift, go to edge select, and then click E to extrude them. Then uh, I think that looks okay. So let's click number zero to see through the camera. Select the camera, click shift F to use the fly cam, and then move around with W, A, S, and D, just like in a video game. And then change the background color to a white color so that the tracks become white as well. The next step of this tutorial is the render settings. So make sure to change the colors and the camera angle to an angle you like before we go to the next step. So I might change a few colors and then click the camera icon, which is the render settings, increase the resolution quality to 100% and then make an output folder for your final render. So just give it a name somewhere on your computer, doesn't really matter where. And then select the folder and then give the render a name. And we'll change it from PNG to AVI JPEG, which is the render file. 
And then for the sampling, which is the quality of the render, we'll set it to about 300. I'm also going to change the frame rate to 30, but that's optional. And for the end frame, which is the end of the animation, I will set it to around 90. So it's a, a three second long animation. And then scroll down to the bottom if you have a GPU. And in the performance, change the tile size to around 500. If you only have a CPU, just leave them at 64. Now, if you want the same result as you saw in the final animation in the beginning of this tutorial, just zoom out the camera and move it backwards. Because now it goes outside of the frame. But I think it looks good for the thumbnail. So click animation and that's all you have to know. So thank you guys for watching. And if you want to get even deeper into track animation and tank animations, make sure to check out my course link in the description.